Hello everyone. Welcome to our webinar on five simple ways to implement a cloud cost optimization strategy in your organization. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. My name is Cheradana and I'm a product expert at Analytics Plus, Manage Engine's IT analytics solution. Before we get started, I'd like to share with you all some useful information about our session today. If you have any questions during the course of this webinar, feel free to type them in using the chat icon on the left panel of your screen. I'll do my best to address them towards the end of the webinar. And in the event that we run short on time, I'll respond to your questions later via email. You can also choose to email your questions to me directly at the email address that's flashing on your screen. Over the course of today's session, we will be identifying five efficient ways to control and optimize cloud infrastructure costs. With looming recessions and economic downturns and the rampant layoffs that are prevalent across organizations, CIOs are tasked with the impossible ordeal of reducing IT expenditure. While several organizations migrated their operations to the cloud to reduce organizational spending, in today's scenario, merely adopting cloud infrastructure proves insufficient. IT leaders are now pressed to curtail cloud costs while still driving ROI and business growth. Cloud implementations offer immense scalability and uninterrupted services, but this often comes at a hefty price. A Gartner study estimates that global cloud spending will reach over $591 billion in 2023, a considerable growth from 2022 spending of $490 billion. And 60% of the respondents surveyed in Cloud Zero's 2022 State of the Cloud Intelligence Report stated that their organization's cloud costs are higher than anticipated. This high expenditure due to cloud infrastructure would be understandable provided organizations truly optimize and benefit from cloud usage. However, in most cases, this is far from being true. Cloud waste is an unfortunate problem prevalent across various organizations, often stemming from the widespread over-provisioning of resources. The State of the Cloud report by Flexera discovered that 32 percentage of an organization's cloud budget was wasted due to inefficient usage in 2022. And when we compare this statistic with Gartner's conclusion uh, of 2022, seeing approximately $500 billion in cloud spending, we can arrive at an estimate of about $160 billion of cloud waste globally during the last year. These alarming numbers point to the dire need of a cloud cost optimization strategy within your organization. With increasing cloud costs and the immense wastage that is rampant across industries, an efficient cloud cost optimization strategy that controls and optimizes cloud infrastructure costs is now the need of the hour. And an AI-enriched analytics platform allows you to accomplish that with ease and equip CIOs with the tools required to effortlessly control and optimize cloud costs and enjoy sustained organizational profitability. Let's find out how to accomplish this. A great starting point to controlling and optimizing cloud spending is to uncover and delete unused cloud resources. Organizations often forget to decommission or terminate unused resources or remove the storages associated to unused instances. While the ability to spin up resources instantly as and when requirements arise proves highly beneficial in cloud, in cloud computing, IT departments tend to lose track of the various resources that are being consumed across the organization. Such provisioned instances that are unused will, re will rake up hefty bills despite their actual utilization. As most cloud resources are built by the second, merely identifying and removing unused inst instances can go a long way in reducing cloud wastage. But when most organizations have migrated a majority of their operations to the cloud, it can prove difficult to flag these unused cloud resources. 
Among the various resource types that should be discarded, it is, rec it is recommended to start your organization's cloud cost optimization journey with ideal with idle compute instances, which contribute heavily to cloud spending. In addition to tracking idle resources, it is also good practice to zero in on unused storage volumes. While the former, that is, uh, that is idle resources, can be identified by monitoring usage patterns, IT administrators can easily detect detached storage volumes by identifying those that have been unattached to cloud instances for a few weeks' time. This visualization analyzes every cloud resource utilized across your organization to quickly identify instances that are unused for three months or longer. Beyond merely flagging instances that are unused and raking up costs, IT administrators can also use this analysis to identify if unused storage volumes are also present, which can either be downgraded or reassigned to maximize utilization. However, in the march to get rid of unused cloud resources, it is good practice to implement this disposition process in stages to ensure minimized disruption to daily business operations. Ensure instance owners are notified of disposition plans and post a grace period of a few days, delete the unused instances. This series of uh, practices or tips ensures organizations can sidestep business interruptions and also helps avoid the emergence of shadow IT resources. Cloud vendors charge organizations based on provisioned instances and their requested allocations in terms of RAM or the number of CPUs and not their actual utilization levels. Organizations therefore end up paying for instances irrespective of their utilization levels across various departments and often tend to use compute instances at a much lower percentage than provisioned. In such scenarios, tracking and optimizing cloud resource utilization plays an integral role in optimizing cloud infrastructure costs. This is where right-sizing resources comes into play. It is the practice of modifying a cloud instance's allocation levels to reflect the actual utilization within the organization. The fastest way to implement right-sizing is to monitor resource utilization closely to zero in on those that are underutilized. However, when considering the plethora of cloud resources provisioned in an organization, hunting down instances that are underutilized can be akin to searching for the proverbial needle in a haystack. Organizations stand to enjoy better efficiency and greater returns when employing an AI-enriched algorithm This visualization tracks each cloud instance's utilization over a period of two weeks. To better envision resource utilization against the provision capacity, IT leaders can set up a utilization threshold at say 70%, which provides a sufficient buffer to tackle surges in workloads. When a resource's actual utilization drops below this level, it indicates that the resource is underutilized and can benefit from right-sizing strategies that downsize the provision capacity of the cloud instance. Cloud solution architects can effortlessly stay on top of underutilization by setting up a threshold-based alert. Let me quickly show you how to do that. And it's as simple as that. These alerts will automatically notify the selected users when utilization consistently drops beyond a permissible lower limit through any of the configured channels. Beyond merely tracking under utilization, 
Organizations should also identify and account for overutilization of cloud resources. While this may not impact cloud costs, it can affect organizational productivity and interrupt business operations when workloads suddenly shoot up. When implementing right-sizing strategies, it is therefore good practice to keep a close eye on increasing workload and the subsequent resource demand. This may see a cloud instance's utilization approaching the maximum permissible limits. In such cases, IT managers should take immediate measures to provision additional resources or upsize the current cloud resource to handle these spikes in workloads. Right-sizing is therefore a continuous process and must be implemented at frequent intervals to ensure optimal cost savings and efficiency. However, in large-scale organizations, there are often several cloud instances that can benefit from right-sizing. In such cases, it might prove difficult to discern and accurately prioritize the computing instances that require immediate remediation in a way that maximizes cost savings. This analysis acts as a handy guide in such scenarios. It identifies every cloud resource that has a consistently lower utilization percentage over the last 14 days and categorizes them based on their costs. It is recommended to primarily target those cloud resources that rake in large costs but have a low utilization percentage. Right-sizing is a handy tool that offers immense cost benefits to organizations that host a widespread cloud infrastructure. Seeing as cloud providers offer immense flexibility in service allocations and downgrades, organizations with a mature and efficient right-sizing strategy can effortlessly enjoy immediate cost savings. Getting rid of unused resources and right-sizing instances prove to be some of the most effective and efficient ways to go about cloud cost optimization. However, CIOs can do far more to control and optimize cloud costs. One such strategy is resource scheduling. Beyond merely tracking resource utilization percentages, organizations stand to reap additional cost savings by understanding resource utilization periods. Several cloud resources are only utilized during specific time periods, and uncovering such patterns to set up automatic resource scheduling sequences goes a long way in reducing cloud wastage and in turn cloud costs. Configuring, configuring an effective resource scheduling strategy can help organizations optimize their cloud infrastructure costs without leaving an impact on daily workloads and productivity. For instance, most development instances are utilized only during business hours and are unused during non-work hours. Understanding such utilization periods across each resource type, department, and team can help IT managers strategize accurate trends to configure scheduling. Attempting to manually accomplish this sees administrators tasking each team with the tedious and error-prone process of tracking their compute instances utilization. A more efficient way about this is to simply leverage an intuitive analytic solution to analyze utilization metrics over a significant period to unearth unique patterns and trends. This visualization analyzes various compute metrics like CPU and RAM utilization, and displays each department's resource utilization behavior. It offers immense granularity by tracking utilization on an hourly basis and aids administrators in uncovering usage trends effortlessly. Understanding these nuanced differences in utilization patterns go a long way in strategizing an effective resource schedule for the organization's various cloud instances. Organizations can then configure automation sequences that instantly shut down resources based on the carefully curated resource schedule and effectively curb cloud wastage. 
So far, we have tackled the more obvious cost drains prevalent across an organization's cloud infrastructure. However, there is a relatively unknown cloud cost that holds the potential to severely impact overall cloud spending, data egress. Did you know that you could rake up cloud costs by merely moving the data stored in cloud instances? While most cloud providers do not charge users for transferring data into cloud instances, organizations are often charged when moving data from cloud to on-premise applications. Some vendors also charge a hefty sum when transferring data between different regions or time zones. Referred to as data egress fees, this is an often forgotten cost in cloud computing. It is levied by most cloud providers and con contributes to a fair chunk of an organization's overall cloud spending. These data egress charges tend to be a costly oversight in most cases, and as such, it is critical to account for and tackle data egress fees as a part of an organization's cloud cost optimization strategy. While organizations can certainly enforce limits on the amount of data being transferred out of cloud resources, that is not a truly optimal solution as this tends to interpret in, as this tends to interrupt business operations and affects productivity. Instead, a good way forward is to simply configure a cloud architecture in such a way that reduces data egress costs. And you can accomplish this by identifying data that is frequently transferred across different regions and time zones and avoid storing such data in cloud resources. This visualization carefully analyzes data movement across your entire organization to identify the data that is transferred from cloud storages and computes the corresponding data egress fees. Uncovering repeated patterns in organization-wide data transfers can equip solution architects with the insights required to restructure cloud architecture and storage to minimize data egress costs and maximize efficiency. A great way to avoid increased data egress costs is to implement a centralized storage system that reduces the need for data transfer among different apps and cloud storage instances. Another handy solution is to identify on-premises applications that frequently access data stored in cloud resources and instead host them in the cloud or find alternatives that allow the flexibility to do so. This goes a long way in mitigating data egress and its associated fees. It is also good practice to periodically purge the stale data stored by our organization to eliminate duplicated data files and excess storage fees. Our session so far has covered various widely known and hidden cost drains that are unique to cloud infrastructure and identified effective strategies to overcome them. However, any cost optimization strategy would be incomplete without accounting for and optimizing the, hef the hefty costs incurred over the course of IT downtimes. Service and application downtimes are scenarios dreaded by IT leaders across industries. Not only does it bring daily business operations to a screeching halt, but it also sees increased costs in combating these unplanned breakages. The cost of enterprise downtime survey by Tech Channel dug into the true cost of IT downtime and uncovered that the average cost per hour of unplanned downtime accounts to a staggering $300,000. Therefore, targeting cloud breakages and curbing the cost of downtime can clearly go a long way in optimizing cloud spending in an organization. An effective way to predict downtime before it occurs is by tracking various monitoring and health metrics that point to underlying issues, even when the associated, associated cloud resource exhibits no signs of breakage. However, given the widespread adoption of cloud infrastructure across organizations and the proliferation of cloud instances across multiple vendors, 
It is easy to miss telltale spikes in cloud monitoring metrics that point to an impeding breakage. An AI-driven analytics platform offers an easy solution to this and acts as a handy tool that allows IT managers to stay on top of every possible downtime. By leveraging AI-based predictive server maintenance, you can easily uncover patterns and irregularities and anomalies in resources and effectively predict impeding downtime. This provides the insights required to carry out remediation efforts and overcome service downtime with ease. This dashboard effectively combines various vital mon cloud monitoring metrics to provide insights that prove highly beneficial in detecting downtime. Although your cloud instances might not be showing signs of an issue, unusual spikes in these metrics are an early indicator of future outages. Having these metrics at your disposal close you in on when immediate action is required so you can resolve the underlying issue behind unusual spikes before they result in service downtime. This analysis goes a long way in detecting when your cloud instance might be impacted and aids organizations in avoiding costly mistakes. However, to sidestep the pitfalls of IT downtime and truly optimize cloud costs, it is good practice to be prepared for adverse scenarios. Organizations can strategize and implement a disaster recovery plan that quickly spin up additional cloud instances to mitigate the effect of downtime and ensure uninterrupted business operations. Implementing these practices go a long way in proactively identifying breakages to overcome service downtimes and the expensive charges that come with it. And with that, we have identified five ways to target cloud costs effortlessly and optimize cloud spend efficiently. However, before we wrap up the session, I would like to leave you all with a handy tip. Most cloud cost optimization strategies fail to take off and face several challenges simply due to a lack of visibility into the varied compute instances spread across the organization. Considering the proliferation of multi-vendor cloud infrastructure, this comes as no surprise, as most monitoring and analytics platforms are simply targeted towards a single cloud vendor's offering. To overcome this hurdle, simply leverage a unified analytics platform that ropes in data from different cloud vendors. This smart dashboard intuitively correlates and tracks vital cloud monitoring metrics from different cloud vendors to act as a single pane of two, truth that offers quick insights into the state of cloud implementation in an organization. Such offerings go a long way in equipping big business leaders with the insights required to implement cost optimization strategies in a timely manner and gain a consolidated overview of their organization's cloud infrastructure. Over the course of this webinar, we strategize five simple ways to control and optimize cloud costs in an organization. However, to truly drive cloud spend in the long run, cloud cost optimization strategies must be a continuous process of improvement. While one-time implementations provide immediate cost savings, a continuous application of the five cost optimization strategies detailed over the course of this session unlocks the path to sustained profitability and improvement. Let me quickly summarize everything we discussed in our session today. Flag and delete unused resources. A good starting point in optimizing cloud costs is to track and delete unused instances. Monitor resource utilization patterns to identify and remove idle resources and zero in on unattached cloud storages to curb cloud wastage. However, while disposing of these unused resources, ensure you do it in stages to avoid disrupting daily business operations. Right-size existing resources. 
analyze existing cloud resources utilization over a sustained period. Compare with the target utilization level to easily identify under and over utilized resources and configure smart alerts to stay on top of critical changes in utilization. Consolidate resources that consistently have lower utilization rates wherever possible and ensure the right number of resources are available in keeping with organizational requirements and changing workloads. Configure resource scheduling. In addition to tracking resource utilization patterns, also monitor the utilization periods of cloud resources across individual teams using intuitive heat maps. These insights can then be leveraged to configure schedules that shut down cloud resources during non-business hours. Curb the fees associated with data egress. Most public cloud providers generally levy hefty data egress fees, which are the costs incurred when data is transferred from cloud storages. To reduce this, identify frequent data transfers and the subsequent avenues for optimization. For instance, on-premises applications that frequently access data from cloud storages can be migrated to the cloud, which curbs excess fees. Organizations can also establish a centralized storage system to avoid frequent data transfers between different storages and also purge stale data periodically to reduce cloud storage costs. Overcome IT downtime costs. Predict and overcome service breakages to tackle hefty IT downtime costs. Leverage heat maps of metrics like CPU utilization, latency, etc. to identify breakages proactively. Multi-vendor cloud architecture. Leverage the offerings of a unified analytics platform to build dashboards that offer a consolidated overview of multi-vendor cloud infrastructure. This goes a long way in equipping business leaders with the insights required to implement cost optimization strategies in a timely manner and reduce cloud wastage effectively. The reports we covered over the course of this webinar were built using Analytics Plus, Manage Engine's AI-powered IT analytics solution, using data spanning across various IT applications. Beyond offering comprehensive analytical capabilities, Analytics Plus also provides out-of-the-box integration with several IT applications. This includes various Manage Engine applications like Applications Manager, App Manager, Endpoint Central, Service Test Plus, and PAM360, to name a few. The Advanced Analytics Platform also provides pre-built analytics for various third-party IT applications, such as Jira Software and ServiceNow. The primary benefit of these out-of-the-box integrations lies in the fact that they can be configured within minutes, post which you can access the 300 and more pre-built reports and dashboards that are generated. So if you would like to attain a hands-on experience and apply this detailed analysis over your company's data, all you need to do is sign up or download the Analytics Plus free trial and set up the integration to access the insightful reports and dashboards. Beyond offering out-of-the-box insights for major IT applications, Analytics Plus continually strives to facilitate self-service on every level of its platform. A key player that facilitates this is our AI-driven analytics assistant, Zia. If you're just getting started with analytics and find BI tools to be daunting, well, Zia can be your new best friend. All you have to do is strike up a conversation with Zia, either via text or voice, and Zia will automatically generate the insights required to further your analytics journey. While this removes the task of having to build a report yourself, Understanding and breaking down the information displayed in a visualization can take up a lot of time. Well, we've got you covered even then. With Zia Insights, you can attain narrative detailed interpretation of your analysis at the mere click of a button. This feature proves beneficial, especially in cases where immediate action is crit critical in putting out the fires in your organization. You can also leverage Zia's conversational prowess to dig deeper into your data to uncover hidden information 
and perform root cause analysis and also use the forecasting engine to foresee future trends and modify business strategies accordingly. Another beneficial and handy feature in Analytics Plus is our scenario analysis functionality. Using what-if analysis, you can execute powerful scenario analysis over your reports to visualize various outcomes based on a deciding factor. By understanding the business impact when changes occur, you can adjust your strategies ahead of time and achieve business objectives with ease. You can also set up various threshold-based alerts for your reports and get notified via in-app alerts or email. This saves you the trouble of having to recheck your visualizations manually to avoid missing out on business critical changes. So that was a brief overview of the Analytics Plus application. And it looks like we have a few minutes left for a quick Q&A session. So let's look at the first question we have here today, which is, can I bring in or analyze data from IT application or only data from Managed Engine's cloud monitoring application? So you can easily import data from any IT application into Analytics Plus and attain detailed insights into your organization's operations. Analytics Plus's AI-powered AI platform facilitates self-service at every stage, which equips users with the tools required to build insightful visualizations within minutes. Moving on to the next question, how can I apply these reports over my organization's data? So to do that, uh, simply access the on-premises or the cloud version of Analytics Plus and import data from your various applications into the Analytics platform. From there, it's as simple as dragging and dropping the required columns to build the visualizations we discussed today. Alternatively, you could also head to our AI assistant Zia, type in your questions, and Zia will build the visualizations for you. Let's take a look at the next question. I have data present in multiple monitoring applications, and I want to analyze this. Is it possible to configure a unified analytics setup? Uh, yeah, you can easily blend data from different IT applications and attain unified insights into your organization's widespread cloud instances to gain a holistic overview of cloud infrastructure. Um, in addition to that, we also offer pre-built blended unified analytics for a variety of applications like Manage Engine Applications Manager and Manage Engine App Manager, which can be configured within minutes and offers a range of reports and dashboards based on the blended data. So that brings us to the end of the questions and answers section. We've covered a lot of information through the course of this webinar, and I hope you benefit from this session. If you'd like to try out these reports for yourself, you could quickly download or sign up to the Manage Engine Analytics Plus application, which provides a free, all-inclusive 30-day trial. Simply scan the QR code that's flashing on your screen to head to the sign-up page. From there, you can either download the on-premise version or sign up to the cloud version and get the application running with ease. And once that's done, it should take you mere minutes to set up the various integrations and access all the pre-built reports and dashboards. And with that, we have reached the end of this webinar. So that's about it from me, folks. If you had any questions or concerns during the session, please do contact me using the email address that's on your screen right now. I truly love to hear from you. Thank you for taking the time to attend this session. Take care, everyone. Have a great day ahead.